Yo yeah, guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the RX Homegrown save. This episode we're going to be playing at least one game against Dortmund and then probably the game against Alkmaar. So, let's quickly recap what's happened. As you can see, since um, the games against Juventus, we've had a couple of friendlies because there's a winter break. Oops, sorry, excuse me. We then played Canberra, beat them 3-0. Same ahead with Go Ahead Eagles, beat them 3-0. So we've had some really good results. So we played PSV Eindhoven, beat them 4-1. Um, Excelsior we beat 3-0. NAC 2-0. And Roda Kukrad 2-0. So, been actually a really good run of games there. I'm hearing stuff. <laughs> Don't worry. Really good run of games. Still got no cup, which I think is mm, confusing. What's happened with the KMVB cup? not been scheduled yet is this a glitch <laughs> that's been lost I'm not too fussed about if it has because I don't really like playing the cups but it just vanished <laughs> then we won it last year I would like to at least try to defend it but nothing I can really do about it it's just sort of gone so, actually, when did it, when did you go into it, second round? No, yeah, it's not even, it's not going to be scheduled this year for some bad reason. So, we're going to play the Dortmund game, and possibly the Alkmaar, maybe even, maybe even the Twente game. Hmm, I don't know yet, it might do Dortmund, Alkmaar, then Dortmund, new track, depending how this goes. So, let's jump into the first game against Dortmund, guys. I haven't set the team up. Why well, haven't I set the team up? I think that's going to be more or less what we go with because it's what's working at the moment. And yeah, he wants a new contract, doesn't he? Kishner's the only injury we've got, which is a little bit annoying. He's out for another two to three weeks. And De Jong's been transferred. He wanted to leave. He's not getting first team football, so that's fine. I said, uh, if you can get a club, you can go. I've had everyone barring Barry wanted. Which is, and Zivkovic, surprisingly, he wasn't wanted this year. Uh, Clive was wanted, Nunley was wanted, um, Justy was wanted, Van der Schoot was constantly wanted, Mensa was wanted, The Git was wanted, Shallow was wanted, you name it, they were all wanted. Which just got on my nerves and just rejecting bid after bid after bid. But we're not fussed about that. They're going with a team I actually know quite well the Paslak, Bartra, Ginter. Guerrero, Leno and goal. It's more or less what they have at the start of the game. Weigel and Senjo is new. Groats, Roos are mainstays. Guides is the Portuguese left wing. It was dubbed the next Ronaldo. Um, two years ago now, I think it was, he was dubbed the next Ronaldo. And I haven't actually heard a lot of them since. And Origi up top. Hmm. Rigi's a bit of hit and miss, you never know what you're going to get with him. We've got Bamiang on the bench, Schurler, Rode. Still got a very, very strong team, so let's get into this and see if we can get a good result against them, guys. Because I've no idea how we're going to do. And let's just get these lot happy. The last few games, we've just been completely amazing. It's probably the last five game average rating all above 7.2. Other than our goalkeeper. And I'm going to play on 2D. Because I'm getting constantly confused when I'm changing back to 3D and that. And I want to do it on this. Just have a bit of difference in there. And my computer is not liking the 3D as much as I thought it would. As we come forward. clive has got the ball. This is off the... Scratch that highlight. <laughs> right, we've got a corner. We whip it in. And it's cleared. None of going to get there though. As I say, he almost didn't. He whips it in Zivkovic and he's put us 1 0 up with an away goal. Lovely cross in by Nunley and excellently um, finished by Zivkovic to rise up and get to it. I'm assuming he jumped once this decides to load the highlight. None, we're going to change the highlight around to a different angle in a minute. Nunley whips it in and okay, he actually um, placed it in. I thought he went for a header. Uh, count goals. No one that. Oh, damn. My bad. Oh, we got another corner. We'll whip it in. And Legit's got a goal as well. 
let's go close for highlights and see how that looks. Actually, it's not too bad. Clover whips the free, free kick corner in. We get jumps and beats their goalie in the air to make it 2 0 and two away goals away at Dortmund. And we're coming forward again. Wijnaldum puts in the middle, clear by Ginter though, all the way up to Origi. Good tackle by Mensa, who was wanted by PSG, and it, trying to convince him to stay was a bit a bit fun. Um, Van der Schoot was wanted by Real Madrid. And someone else, I can't remember who else wanted him, but he was wanted by quite a few teams. And we've got a penalty. We've got a penalty against Dortmund to put us 3-1 up and all three away goals. I don't believe it. <laughs> Guido is going to get a yellow. And they've got two so far, him and Origi. Klassan steps up bottom left, bottom right. But we're freeing it up away from home against Dortmund. Why do we turn up against the big teams and the small teams we struggle with? Lovely finish. If we can keep a clean sheet, I'll be very, very happy with how we've, we've started this group. Or started this um, game. As Zivkovic wins the ball around the corner of Klassan. He's in behind the defence again. Shoots. And Leno saves this one, though. And... I don't know what's going to the team this season. We're just running away with certain games. It's like not games you expect to be winning this much as well, especially teams who are one of the top teams in their division as well. We're coming forward straight off the highlight for the... Right, they're coming forward from the first highlight to the second half. Schurler's come on. Cuts inside. He's going to shoot, isn't he? Good save by Berry. Who's actually turned up really well this season. He's been saving a lot more than he used to be. And it's whipped in near post. Abamyang's come on as well. So I'm assuming they've taken Origi off. And I don't know who. Guides maybe? As they get ahead at, at the near post. And they put it over the top of the bar. And I make a sub. to take Genie off for Benninger. I think that's going to be it. I'm quite happy with how now is going. I don't really want to change it up too much. But overall, we're doing really well. As we come forward again, time's flying by. And I actually like it. It's just going to hopefully end 3-0. I will we'll take it. Don't let him score. Out to Schurler. Can we close him down? we got men in the middle. Very... Does I don't quite know what, but it's gone all the way back to Guerrero. Groats in the middle scores. Oh, okay. They pull one back. And that's and Bamiang gives it all the way back to Guerrero. Plays it in the middle. Groats completely unmarked. First time shot. Berry should do better with that one. But it's three one, and let's just hope it ends three one. I'd rather. Take a two goal lead into the next game. As I come forward again with Paslak. Clear it. Clear it. You always get slightly worried when balls like that come in. But we win 3-1 against Dortmund. Lovely. Nowhere near what I was expecting. Let's have a quick look at Berry because he's been Arsenal Barcelona Drew. Because Berry's been absolutely... And the unsung hero effectively he's 18 and he's growing really really well I really like the, what, the way he's looking he's had 11 he's conceded 11 in 24 and 14 clean sheets that's miraculous 20 clean sheets in 34 games conceded 17 overall he's just been so much better this year I don't know what's going into him but he's just been amazing He's tied to 2022 plus a three year extension, so 25. So he's tied down for the next five years at least. So I'm going to jump forward to the Atmar game. Then we're going to do that one as well. So I'll see you in just a moment. Right, let's have a quick look at the team we've got here. We've got uh, Shallow, Leo, Mensa, Vandershot, De Jong, Van Beek, Wijnaldum, Clivert, Dost, and Nunley. They're going with. A load of players I don't I really know other than 
Fair Friday coordinate, Andrada, Mota, Tapia. Don't really recognise the defenders that much, so let's get into this game as well and see how we get on against them. Hopefully we can get a good result and carry on our form at the minute because it's been excellent. Right, first highlight of the game, four minutes in, is coming to them. They're going to somehow almost score. And we have to pull off a miraculous save to get the ball away from our goal there. And we're not starting this very well, by the look of it. We've only got 38% of the ball. We're normally on about 55 by now, but we're struggling to keep possession. they got another corner. They whip it in again. Can we clear this time? No, and they've scored from it. Alberto. Son... I don't know, but the whip, we've struggled from defending corners against this team, and it's quite frustrating, they whip the ball back post, and they rise over, it doesn't, I don't know what Berry was doing there, but he wasn't goalkeeper, I know that for sure. Alright, we're actually getting a highlight, we've had the goal, and that's been it, and a shit ton of yellow cards as well, but they're coming through winning the ball back very very easily and we're just not getting anywhere with it and like this we're not closing down quick enough and they've just got time to pick a pass okay that shouldn't have got there but Mensa has won it back into Clivert Klassan where's he going he's just running into a body of defenders and just losing the ball too easily but we won it back Clivert to Zivkovic he's got a man running ahead of him into Van Beek over the top he's I'm assuming he's volleyed that and has gone straight in. But lovely thing over the top by um, Zivkovic to get it to him. I want to see that in 3D. Clivert, lovely pass into Zivkovic. Bambi runs ahead, thinks it over the top, on the half volley into the top corner. Lovely finish from Bam Bambi, who's been playing a defensive role this season. It's coming up to full time, and that's going to be it. It's probably going to end off. Um, 1-1 one, one here, but they're coming for it again. Probably the last real chance of the game. If if we can't win it back, if we win it back, it's probably going to end it there. Well, there's only about 10 seconds to go, and we're just really struggling to close them down this game. The tempo is a lot lower than what we're used to, and it ends 1-1. Um, one, one. Other than the two goals, that's really been it. So we'll tell them we're not happy, and that puts us one point behind Feyenoord on equal games. We're miles ahead of Vitesse and everyone else. But they drew with PSV, so if we won that, we would have actually leapfrogged them. I'm assuming we play Feyenoord again at some point, so let's have a look. Yes, we do, we'll play them in there. Which is probably going to be a big game for the end of the season. We're probably going to do the the Dortmund game. Should we do the Dortmund game as a one-off? Or should we do the test in Dortmund? I don't know what episode number this is. I think this is five. I think. So we might do Dortmund, Utrecht, then Ben or Venlo. And see where we are then. And then we can do probably a double header. Or single game for the end of the season might be it so guys if you have enjoyed smash the like button smash the subscribe button if you haven't already and i'll see you next episode for when we take on Dortmund and try and seal our place in the second knockout round of the champions league so i'll see you then guys